Hello, in this video, we are going to talk about making a waterfall chart in Tableau. Before we get into details, let's try to understand the instances where we can use it. In general, pie charts and stacked column charts are widely used to represent contribution of a component to a total. For example, market share of a company or sales generated by a product in its portfolio. But there are few limitations to these representations, especially when there are more number of components and also when one of the components contribution is negative to the total, it will be very difficult to discriminate the impact. In such scenarios, waterfall charts are the best way of representing the data. So with the help of the current chart, we are trying to depict the contribution of a company's turnover from various departments. So here there are six departments of which some of them are in profits shown in green and some of them are in loss shown in red. All these components are adding up to the company's total profit which is around 28,216. So here it's clearly evident that which departments are in loss and how much magnitude they are taking down from the total company's profit. So let's learn how to make this chart quickly. Uh, this hardly takes two minutes provided your data is structured. Let's try to look at the data, backend data quickly. So all the components which you want to include under the waterfall should be present on the same column like here department A to F under column A and also the values. Now once you import the data into W, open a fresh sheet and drag the departments into columns and the values into rows. Uh, then quickly right click on the values, go to quick table calculations and choose the running total. And then from the mark sheet, select the graph type as a Gantt bar chart. So now we need the magnitude of each bar to be represented as the depth of the bar. So for that we need to create a calculated field uh, which actually should be the negative of the component. For example, like this, negative of a value. Okay. So now drag this negative to the size. And we are left with one more thing, which is adding the total. Go to analysis, totals, show row grand totals. Click on this. And that's it, we are done with it. Uh, we can do other cosmetic changes to make it look visually appealing like this. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any questions related to W, please provide in the comments.